Hey guys, welcome to part three of my playthrough of The Quarry on PC. Uh, in the last episode, we were introduced to all of the counsellors, the incredibly unlikable troop of of counselors um we got introduced to david arquette who is kind of like the uh, the manager of, of the quarry of the the summer camp um for whatever reason he really wanted to get rid of all of the counselors out of the quarry because of something that was going to be going down there that evening by the looks of things um for whatever reason one of the counselors wanted to spend the night with one of the other lady counsellors for another night so he sabotaged the van so they couldn't leave david arquette has shit himself um and the counsellors are gonna have to try and lock themselves uh in, in 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 one of the cabins for the night or that's what they're supposed to do but instead they're gonna have a party because bros um and then it ended on seeing lance henriksen and some beefed up dude covering themselves in blood and putting a sign up that says hunting season. So what's going to happen? Let's find out. So we're currently in a store trying to look for supplies for the pate. Um, we've also got to try and look for... Jesus. We've also got to try and look for some cards or something. I'm assuming she's after like tarot cards um, for the, the creepy old lady that we keep seeing in between chapters. Um, so... I'm going to try and kind of keep my eye out for them a little bit more. Oh, there's one of the posters. Harem Scarum? Damaged memorabilia. Can we find any of these cards, though, that she's been talking about? Anything back here? Can't see anything. It's very dark. I don't see anything around here, mate. Sorry, no booze. How do we get into here? Oh, wait a minute. What's Oh, we've not been down. Hold on. What's down here? This is a huge like back room. Oh, maybe it's not maybe this is part of the store. It's not the most welcoming of uh, shops that I've seen. But uh, I mean, if there's going to be one of those cards kicking about, it's got to be around here, hasn't it? Surely. What we got? Who buys this crap? It's a lovely piece of memorabilia from your time at Creepy Camp. Oh. Was that Lance or was that his uh, beefcake chum? Who knows? Anything in here? No. What's with this like weird caged area? Hold on, we'll go in there in a bit. I want to see what happens if, if and when we find one of these cards. Oh, lovely. Hello, old friends. That is not creepy at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's scare Jacob. Definitely. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Absolutely not. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to... Oh my. <laughs> Alright, now where should I hide? Do I have to decide this? This is this is gonna go tits up, isn't it? Jacob Emma Hello Look if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. It's definitely going to work. As long as it doesn't go tits up. Ah! You're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. That would scare me, if I'm honest with you. Supposed to be funny? Even though I knew that I mean, she was being an idiot. Yeah. Well. You think it's funny... Now, little boy. I oh, is she trying to be a sexy like clown? Twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. I. I. Yeah. What? Moment's gone. Not forgotten. 
Yeah, clowns ain't sexy. Sorry, mate, but they're not. <laughs> just, they're just not, I'm afraid. Oh, we're back here again. We've already been here, haven't we? Hold on. Right, let's go around here. Right, come on. Be one of these card things. Oh, what's that? Like a, a blueprint or something, it looks like? Quote too high. Look for cheaper option next year. Oh, it's a renovation plan. Okay. Right, we came in from that way, didn't we? So, come on, game. Just give me something. There's got to be something around here. Staff only. Maybe I should check out that cage first. That's probably where something's going to happen, isn't it? In the staff only area. Can we go in this box? No. Fridges. No beer. Alright, let's go have a look in this caged area. <coughs> Excuse me, this cage area a second. Can I, I wonder if I can unlock that door, use it as an escape route later. That's the plan. Yeah, let's unlock that. Yes, escape route for later. Marvellous. Amazing. Right, yeah, I'm going to... That's that's blatantly an escape route, isn't it? So that we haven't got to go through this maze of shelves. Anything else in here? No, we looked in there, didn't we? Okay, let's head to the staff room. I looked at that. Didn't I looked at? Did I? Oh yeah, that's where the uh, that's where the 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 clown mask was, wasn't it? All right, what's in here? I wonder where this goes. Kick the door in again. Go on. Locked. Kick it in like you did before. Yeah, kick it in. Ow! Mother nice. Hubbard! <laughs> Mother ah! Hubbard. <laughs> what you uh what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Is the big strong man going to do it now? Grr, brah. Oh, he's going to lockpick it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? Uh, what? yeah. No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> you left us stranded here, mate. You what horny little shoot? bastard. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Isn't there like seven of you? You're not gonna get drunk on that. Jesus. We need to we need more booze. We need to find some vodka for the watermelon thing that you, you suggested. Oh, look, there's low oh grab some more. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, maybe he is gonna grab some more. Anything in the freezer? Buoy does that say buoy eyeballs? You probably can't see that very well on on your ring eyes. Or oh, gooey gooey eyeballs. Sorry, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Gooey eyeballs. Oh. Jacob, Ooh. check There's this like out. What? I can't scratches or something in that latch. one on the right. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, this tent's back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Who knows. Who knows? Still no, still not found any of these cards. Oh hell yeah, grab that! What is it? Oh, there's the it's there's gone. the combination for the safe. Oh cool. And uh, code. Oh. 
definitely not dangerous. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Stealing somebody's gun as well. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's definitely not going to be annoyed. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Definitely not. You're stealing his booze, you're stealing his shotgun. Vampire bites. That's pretty cool. Brain brain candy. There's lots of Halloween esque stuff here, isn't there? Right, let's go. Dude, you can carry two crates of that. Come so on. You're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am going to find something to haul this lot back to camp. It's just, it's just one crate, mate. That's the blueprint, isn't it? So, yeah. Can't seem to find any of these cards that that creepy old lady wants. All right. I thought, I figured we were going to get chased through here. Maybe that's still to come. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to rob them blind as well with all the cash. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> oh, some shotgun shells. Okay. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Oh, okay. You, you're fireworks. still beer and a shotgun and some shells, but you draw the line at uh, fireworks. Right, no, we'll take the fireworks. You're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob hey, seems excited. I Yay! Torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. They look skanky. How long have they been up there? Um... What what are butter pops? What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop 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 them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. 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 They're nothing. Sounds like popcorn. Like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre. A food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, Lies. Like 10 years older. Okay, okay. definitely. Look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. The hell is a wheelbarrow? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means it... like um, like treasure, or buds. <laughs> is that what no, is that what you guys in the states call a wheelbarrow? wheelbarrow? Is it called a wheelbarrow? Mm -hmm. Am I just being uh, stupid? A wheelbarrow okay. is something completely uh, different and common, and like, everybody um, should know what it is. It's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Yep. That is like the tiniest bag of fireworks, or tiniest box of fireworks, sorry. That's just, it's going to be pointless. I don't know why I grabbed them, actually. Why is there so many watermelons in this shop? Is there a high demand at summer camp for watermelons? Oh, we're back in David Arquette's office. Yeah, there's just All a right. picture on the wall of dead deer. Sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. <laughs> How creepy is that guy's face there? 
Why is he so intrigued about podcasts? Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. I, I Sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm. I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't. I'm sensing. I'm sensing some sexual no, tension Ryan, between these two. Do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bona fide. You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on. What kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? Oh, dear. <laughs> Not Mr. H. I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Right. Come on. Let's see what we got. What's in? What's, what's what? Oh, that's that's our phones. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Anything on the billboard? No. And what's in the bin? Look at this old thing. No. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? It's just a phone. Is that it now? These the those sorts of phones are, are retro now. Oh, we're gonna flirt with. Oh yeah, let's flirt with him. Yeah, let's uh, go for it. So that I can ask you out on a date. Uh... Mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? Is one of these guys called Dylan? I don't know their names. It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Hmm. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> hey, I don't like how the camera, like, resets every time something happens. That's <laughs> that weird Photoshop picture again. Kaylee and Kaylee. <laughs> weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they're pretty reclusive, you have to admit. <laughs> it's like it's like someone's cut David Arquette's face out of like the newspaper and just plonked it on uh, <laughs> somebody else's family photo. Right, there was a hatch on the floor there. We'll check that out in a minute. Uh, what's hey, in what's this drawer? Gun for? Oh yeah, grab the gun as well. Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. What if bear? Good point. Yeah. What if bears crash the party? Partying in the woods tonight. All right. What if the bears try to crash? Okay. It's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. Oi, oi. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. <laughs> okay, that was pretty. The good. most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. That we do. Okay, let's check out. Is this is this his private bathroom? Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy Ooh. har har. Burn. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Oh, QTE! Ayo! Nothing but that. <laughs> Still only had analog sticks and no other buttons. Oh, we, we, we didn't need to have a QT for that other throw. Okay. Huh.
Let's go, go through his clothes. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Oh, secret door! I didn't go to that hatch before. Maybe we should go back uh, there before Ryan? we do anything else. Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Mr. H is definitely oh. not creepy at all. Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So he is into Bigfoot. Oh, that's what I just said, so he was looking for Bigfoot. We'll go with so, that, then. Okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah. Let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? That's a fair point. Uh, I mean... It's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's I, weird. I quite it's like Ryan. Okay, okay. Ryan. Ryan's a pretty cool it's, character. It's I like gotta him. It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. Now, this all guy, right. Dylan, doesn't seem too bad, actually. Maybe I'm sort of, I, like, warming I'm to the characters now. Secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Right. Let's uh, have a quick explore of the secret layer before uh, we check out those computers. So that must be where all the cameras are, I'm guessing. Hold on, there was something there, or is that... Ah, there we go. Huh. Max Brinley. Wait, what, hold on, what was that? Show text. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, Laura Kearney. Oh, these are the guys that were at the beginning, aren't they? So they've received letters, and Mr. H is keeping them in his weird secret room. Right, let's check out the, uh, check out this. Is that a Shure SM7B microphone that he's got there? <laughs> it's a bit small. <laughs> so, what are we? What are we seeing? What was that? Oh, um, what was what? Oh, oh, it's, is that Lance Henriksen? Oh, it's probably nothing. Oh, it, yeah, it, probably nothing. Yeah, even though you've clearly just seen he's a uh, tamper with that. Uh, uh, that camera. Can we have another look? Okay. Can't see anything kicking about. Alright, I think okay, we're done there. Boring. Right. We've still got to check out the rest of, uh, David Arquette's gaff. If the game will let me, I hope so. No, no, we'll come back to those later. Right, so... Hold on. I want to check out that hatch, actually. It was through here. Let's see what's in here. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is 
it like an escape hatch or something maybe is that a trap door <laughs> secret sex dungeon guess it goes to the basement secret sex dungeon i knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. i bet you mr h is into some real kinky shit uh, i doubt it weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up uh-huh why secret sex dungeon yeah, it's not funny it probably just goes to the basement or something <laughs> open it up There's so many places to explore all right well it looks like a pit of eternal darkness so you're being dramatic climb uh, down take a no look. don't what go down there yet there? i'm not done you opened it you climb down no i want to check i want to check out uh I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shut the trapdoor and hopefully we can come back to this. Uh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. Oh no! Oh, that was bad. Oh, sure. balls. I made a bad decision there. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> He'll never know. Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. He's oh. definitely gonna break the chair. Oh, you silly bastard. <laughs> That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't look like a very comfortable chair. Kearney and Max Brindley. Dead. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Okay, so I guess if I didn't shut that trap door, I wouldn't have spotted that. So... That's something, I suppose. Right, let's carry on exploring this. What we got here? Is this the bathroom? The reflections in that mirror are awful. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Ibuprofen, yeah, that paracetamol. Good? Seems perfectly reasonable to me. Oh, a guitar. Play some Kumbaya. Still not found any of these things that that old lady wants. Okay, no, there's nothing else in here. Oh, I'm good. I should have explored this first and then gone down into that hatch. Excuse me. I take it I can't look. Oh, no, maybe we can look at the hatch again. Oh, no, he just sits back down. We're we just going to look at... Yeah, let's skip that. Oh, I can't. Can I not skip this? Oh, okay. Oh, this is a... Okay, so there's a little bit more info. So we've got activities quarter and a theater coach, first aid support, wildlife training was Laura's job. Okay, uh, that sounds really useful. It's a shame she's not around. Announcements and scheduling, art tutor, cook, kitchen supervisor, activities assistant, sailing coach. That says one of two. How do I? Oh, next page is A. Okay. Jacob Custo, sports coach. Share no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. Okay, okay. Okay, so maybe I should be checking things more than once. I mean, that, we didn't get really, really get much insight into anything there, but I know now that if we look at something more than once, it could end up with some new information. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Okay. All right, I don't think there's anything else around here. 
Try the phone again, I suppose. Alright, I think we're done. Alright, let's grab the uh, the phones. Nice. Full up. Uh, let's head to the party. Let's go. Hey, done so. Alright, cool. Let's go. Thank you. I'm good. I didn't get to go into that hatch. I'm so upset. <laughs> Okay, we were Nick and Abigail. I remember these guys. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take to go. He's being very sensible now he's not around his brass. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Shady Glade or Rocky Road? I mean, both sound dangerous. Rocky Road, we could slip, break our ankle and die. Shady Glade, maybe it's dark. We might bash into something. I like Shady Glade. Let's go Shady way. Glade. Sounds less dangerous than Rocky Road. Oh. What was I saying? <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. Now we've got romantic music going on. Can we talk to her? No. Let's follow. I want to go off the, the beaten path. Let's go this way. Got very romantic music going on here. Other than the beginning of the game, we've not really experienced anything scary just yet, have we? What's this? Oh, it's like a trail cam. Like a wildlife cam. Is that a camera? Yeah. Maybe it's for the wildlife? Yeah. Trail cam. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that seems perfectly reasonable, to be fair. Can't go any further into the woods there. Oh, what's in here? Oh, what? Oh. That branch looked really weird. It looked like... <laughs> I don't know why. That just looks really weird to me. So I thought that that, was, that would be something. Right, here we go. A lockbox. Let's see what we've got in here. A uh, ranger box. it's a ranger box. Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> okay. So we got a, a box full of ranger duds. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... 
still gonna like just sketch out the landscape. You got stuff to do. You gotta prepare for a party. You ain't got time to sketch out a landscape. <laughs> do me, do me. No, that's no, that's so cringe. You're really good. Let's be nice. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, he hasn't even looked. This is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, nah, Nick, you're I'm absolutely just... useless. Don't know what. He's used to shot at that, Nick. You'll figure it out. Oh, it's getting dark. We're gonna die. Oh, maybe, maybe not actually. I don't know. The sun is just behind that mountain. It is gonna get dark soon, and then they will definitely die. The fuck was that? Huh? Sorry, guys. I accidentally, uh, accidentally stopped the recording because I'm an idiot. It's just a pig. It's just a pig. He is cute. He is cute. I've got to say. Hold on. Hold on. I need to. I need to move my uh, keyboard away so I don't accidentally touch it. Yeah, you don't mess with a baby piggy, otherwise Mummy Boar's gonna come out and maul you to death. Uh oh. Safety tip number six. Where the, what about the other Danger. safety tips? Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. <laughs> Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry. Oh no. Serious consequences. <laughs> They're like death. Shit. So I've got to play dead. Release when it's safe. I can only do it for so long. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, we're okay. He was, the, the, the ball was looking right at me. That was close. <laughs> He almost just mowed me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Maybe run away. <laughs> little piggy hog. <laughs> oh. Don't be pedantic, mate. Don't be husband. pedantic. We're not doing that. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> oh. Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> Let's get it on. Guess we should head back. Yeah, okay. Right, we're with Caitlin. Is she on her own? She's at the fire pit.
finally get my phone back, and it's just a big dumb brick. Not having your phone does suck. I've been camping before and like been in like a a signal blind spot, and it was yeah, it was uh, it was horrible. Oh, there's a light on up there. Can we zoom in or anything? Doesn't look like it. Can we just leave it and have a run out of battery? Let's take a picture of the treehouse. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Th th oh, that is what? what? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Fuck it off, man. He he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's not got that a weird, perimeter check, kids to protect. He'll probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Uh, yeah, there's a weird light in the treehouse. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe That's not the picture that I right? took. The lighthouse was in the middle. Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. <laughs> I mood? quite like him, actually, mood, now. Vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood... I have work to do, okay? Because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Oh, what? Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done oh, that. <laughs> it's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett's quarry. Should we be, let's be playful. We'll be playful oh on this Oh my gosh, one. it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? <laughs> thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh. I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Patronizing. Oh. Fuck off Special with those fireworks that good. Oh, we got the melons. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. it's a wheelbarrow. Where did that gun come from? Right, dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, 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 pop. Probably shouldn't you know you thrust, your, uh, hey, hey, hey. thrust your, uh, thrust your groin when saying pop, 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 right, pop it these? in your mouth spoken for dude you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop 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 them in my mouth come on emma please hand me the shotgun what you're gonna shoot me over them no dumbass okay we are going to shoot for them no nah, dude absolutely not no uh not leaving you with a gun not a great idea i mean oh, well that one's mocking we'll go with stern there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look. This guy's voice sounds familiar. Old fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. 
I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side is she, quest. Oh, did she just take uh, all the shells out? Oh, no. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with that choice. All right. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Oh, a shootout? A shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. A shootout is a fucking shootout. Like a western. Okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman. Third class, three years in a row. Ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. Why don't you just take the gun with you? Alright, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she cuts all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil yeah, dick. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it, it went well. It was... It was okay. Hey, attaboy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What are they? Look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Well, she kept in health and safety. I mean, health and safety is very important, to be fair. Fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. Okay. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. Oh, tutorial unlock combat. There's combat in this game? Right. Right triggers fire. What does it... Uh, shit, I wasn't paying attention. What does she want me to hit? The, the, presumably, I've got to hit the... Uh, the bottles. All right, Nick. One point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't that make things easier though? Shouldn't he get right, another go? Nick, this time for real. Oh, okay. It was a practice one. Okay. Right. I don't know if I'm just hitting anything or am I hitting bottles. So I'll hit the bottles. Right. Boom. Nice shot. Can we get two at once? We gotta be able to get two at once. Lucky. Wait, Easy, mate. Hit? Easy. Good All those shot, years right? on Call of Duty have finally right. paid off. Let's see what you got. Alright. You might want to, uh... Avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. Oh, I thought you were an ultra Jacob, elite Jacob, yeah, Jacob, like Jacob. Okay, Whoa, you, you don't game point game guns at people, mate. Like Fucking hell. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Uh... <laughs> Nah, I would normally say GG, but this guy's a prick. We'll we'll gloat with the butter pops Ooh, theme. What's that, Jaggy? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter. Pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam! We thought this was over. What the what? <laughs> Show off. There's no bottles there. I already destroyed pop, them all. Pop, peanut butter, butter pops. 
Oh, so she gets the peanut butter pops now. We've still not really had much horror stuff so far. Only really the the the, the, the beginning bit. As we have we had some like creepy horror stuff. It's been very casual so far. It's a really long shot. There we go. <laughs> okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay. House rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do and there's no ifs ands or buts isn't that so, like, just normal truth or dare yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> so we can like make people kiss if they choose dare yeah as long as everyone consents of course cool beans responsible keep it in your pants until it's your turn but well who does get to go first well it's house steals so abigail truth or dare You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, Just with anyone. I... Should we interrupt? Yeah, we'll be nice and interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um... Have you ever slept? Oh no, Dylan's annoyed. At this camp. <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Uh, Abby, oh my God, God, just pick someone. Okay. Okay. Um. Pick the your, your mate that you like. I don't know. What's his name? I don't, I don't remember the names. Wait, my turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Ooh. Dare. Give me a dare. dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. It's got to be Dylan, hasn't it? There was definitely some sexual tension between those two. Yeah, it's, it's got to be Dylan, isn't it? Dylan, let's go. Hit <laughs> me! <laughs> Have it, please. Woo! They're going to be getting it on tonight. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Alright, let's go with Caitlyn, because Jacob's an arsehole. Caitlyn, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Uh, what did you want to be when you grow up? Ever hook up with Jacob? I mean, it doesn't seem like they've done anything. And I don't care about Jacob. He's an arsehole. We'll go with interested. When you we'll, were a kid, what did you want to be? We'll see what the grow? crack is with her. Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Got an answer. <laughs> well, the answer is... I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So. Okay. Yeah, that was boring. Nope. 
What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. <laughs> no way. Well, um... <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um... Like a busker? No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you... Fuck is that ball. supposed to be? Oh, a mime artist. Is that what he was trying to do? Caitlin is a mime? <clears throat> yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Oh, let's piss Jacob off. Jacob? Oh. Or... Nick. Oh, no, but Abigail likes Nick. Well, then. Um, uh, sorry. Nick is not uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's, that's a good idea. idea. I choose Nick. Oh, we don't even get to choose. Oh, what a bitch. M. Seriously? Oh dear. Nice. Oh dear. Guys! <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Oh no, Jacob's gonna puff his chest out. He's Ab gonna... Abigail's just. I don't know what Abigail's gonna do. Oh, she's fucking off. Yeah, fair enough. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, she... nobody's girlfriend. It was her the choice. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part Jeezy? What's that? What? <laughs> oh! Oh, we're back with Lance and his and his beefcake. Okay, I want to know what the deal is with Lance Henriksen. Oh, I've not got any cards for you. God damn it! Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. I couldn't find anything. I tried. So then. What more has been found? I haven't you found anything. Without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that? Do you think? I don't know. I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. I'm trying. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. And, I, and I probably still won't have any cards for you. The ravens follow. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Okay. So stay away from ravens. Got ya. Right, that's chapter two. It is stupid. It's very stupid, isn't it, Abigail? <sighs> Getting lost in the woods. Definitely going to be our first death. <laughs> oh, all right then, guys. That is the end of that episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry that it's uh, kind of gone on a little bit longer um, than the previous episodes. I, I, I always want to try and finish it at an appropriate time. I don't want to 
do it in the middle of like an exchange or anything like that between a bunch of the characters so uh yeah sorry it's a little bit longer than usual and sorry i had that hiccup with the recording i just i literally just knocked my my keyboard um and it stopped recording but i, I realized it like immediately so you only missed out on like a couple of seconds um of footage anyway Yes, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here to the channel, perhaps you might consider hitting that subscribe button. And to be notified of when my videos go live next, hit that notification bell. And something I, I haven't been mentioning is, of course, if you want to join me um, live Monday to Thursday, sorry, Monday to Wednesday, uh, over on my Twitch channel, you can check me out at uh, twitch.tv forward slash gaming mule. There is a link down in the description. Um, it'd be great to see ya. And, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. See you again next time. Try for now.